Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys the latest situation update from here in Goa for the month of October 2023. I know it is late in the month, but we are going to be having some incredible events that are happening here, like the October Fest, which is this incredible beer festival. We are going to be having Halloween, which is this uh, event where you dress up as anybody with costumes and everything. Uh, we are going to be having the national games which is again a sporting event we have so many different events that are happening out here in goa i'm also going to give you information about uh, water sports shacks uh, the nightlife i'm going to tell you guys the timings the new rules that are happening here in goa i'm going to also give you guys the information about the weather uh, hotel prices uh, you know places that you should stay at all the important information you're going to get in this video as well as the Dude Sagar waterfall and the updates about that as well so first of all let's talk about the weather that is happening here in Goa right now so it is very hot humid and sticky in the daytime but at night the temperature drops and can become quite cold so uh, you know if you're getting us get a sweater along because at late night you know it tends to get quite cool so that is the weather update but yes one more thing just to tell you about the weather is you get this really strong tan when you come to goa so i would definitely recommend you guys to wear some long sleeves uh like light t-shirt or get a really good sunscreen because you are going to get super tan guys so let's talk about the october fest which is happening here in goa this is this amazing beer festival which can be like one of the most fun events of the year here in goa personally this is something i always look forward to being a local we love this event uh okay so it is not i'm not sponsored in any way guys but yeah so it is happening on the 27 28th and 29th of october it is happening at the panjim inox courtyard which is uh, you can just google it out i'm also going to put the uh, you know this the link in the description for the google maps uh i will also put the this is the instagram page of theirs so you can follow them or you can directly just check the page for updates on who are the artists we are going to have lona which is the local goan singer there's going to be so many artists djs and yeah you're going to have so many different types of beers to try out there's cocktails food uh it's going to be a fun event and you're probably going to see me also so come and say hi to me if you see me yeah so one more thing guys is follow me on instagram because i'm going to be posting a lot of posters of all the other events that are happening in goa like uh, for example the halloween parties which are these costume parties that are going to happen here so follow me on instagram as well as i will give you guys other updates of some cool places to check out here in goa in my reel section okay so that, now that i've told you guys about the october fest but let me just finish about october fest the 27th the entry is completely free of cost anybody can go 28th and 29th the cost is going to be 100 rupees per person which is again a negligible fee and yeah you can enter amazing you'll have a great time next we have halloween which is on the 31st of october but all the parties are going to happen on the 28th or the 29th here in goa for saturday sunday so halloween parties there's going to be a lot of halloween parties uh if you want a costume when you're here in goa there's this really nice shop in panjim again not sponsored but yeah this is their instagram page you can go there they have like so many costumes that you can get you know if you want to dress up as somebody and you know have a like a really good time and click some good photos so this is the instagram page for the costumes yeah and then we have the national games guys so national games is happening in goa this year and the national games is basically this sporting event with around 43 different sports that are happening all over goa you will see posters of the sporting event this is their instagram page uh, again the barcode you can uh, follow them or check out the schedules on their instagram because they post all the different sports that are happening here in goa so it's uh, in panjim city the all the major stadiums are, are free of cost you can go and enjoy these events uh, so yeah follow their instagram and check them out so they also have like a dj on mirama beach this is a photo of the mirama beach so uh, they have live music dj and you can just dance there you can attend some 
uh, you know, one of the sporting events. It's just a beautiful thing to enjoy here in Goa. Again, and it's free of cost, guys. So, yeah. So, October, end of October is a lot of fun. But now this is a little bit of the bad news part. Shacks have not opened up as of yet. So, what happened is there is a new shack policy that's happening in Goa. So, due to that, the government and the shack owners were having, uh, you know, there are discussions on how it would work for the new season. So, shacks are opening a little bit late this year. So, if you're coming in the month of October, do not expect to visit any of the shacks on like Baga, Kalangut or Kandolim Beach, you know, which you used to go to. But guys, just keep in mind that there are beachfront restaurants with beach beds on Baga Beach. There is a few of them, uh, you know, in Arambol has all the beachfront restaurants which uh, have beach beds and like exactly like a shack environment with music and everything. So you're not going to miss out on much. You can go to Mandram as well, which has very similar, uh, you know, these beachfront restaurants. So you will not have a bad time when you're coming to Goa. Another thing is the new rules. The rules were uh, there last year as well, where the music shuts off at 10 o'clock in the night. So these are usually in restaurants or open air events. So 10 o'clock is when music shuts. Of course, some of these events have permission for later. Uh, also, nightclubs are all open. So you can go to all the nightclubs. Tito's Lane is completely packed in the evenings. You will have a lot of people there. You can go to Romeo Lane, which is this other party in Vagator. Uh, there is Soho, there is Sink Nightclub, LPK, uh, Cabana. There are so many nightclubs that are available and all the parties are happening. If you want to upmarket good fun parties like the Lhasa, Dubki, uh, there is also uh, Hammers Nightclub, which is in Baga. So these are great events to visit uh, when you're here. Just to tell you guys, another thing is prices of hotels have just shot up a little bit because of season time. Please do not message me asking me about which hotel because there are 4,500 hotels in Goa, which you can, you know, there's more than 4,500 hotels. So every day the prices changes and you know, if you search online, you will get better deals than me telling you because I would probably know about 20 or 30 only. So yeah, search online, always check the reviews on Google and also the reviews on the booking website to see if the property is worth it guys. Okay, now that, that you know about hotel prices, yeah, but also there are also options like on Make My Trip, on Agoda, Booking.com where you can get like all these discounts if you use your credit card or whatever. So try that out as well. Bike and car rental prices. Uh, bike and car rental prices have stayed stable. So it is not shot up that much in October, which November and December will be more expensive. So bike prices are around 350 for a normal bike and for Sino and things like that around 450 to 500. Car uh, prices have gone up a little bit. So it's around 3000. No, sorry, 1,300 1, to 1,500, sorry guys. Uh, and bigger cars, of course, have gone up to like 3,000 and uh, around that range. So that just gives you guys an idea. Let's talk about water sports. So water sports has all opened in Goa. All the five activities are open. So you can go to uh, water sports on all the major beaches. Uh, I would say Kalangut is a little cheaper because the, they have the full package. Kalangut, Vagator and Anjuna, in my personal opinion, is a little cheaper. Of course, it depends on, you know, your personal preference. Baga and Kalangut, they, maybe they might give you longer time or whatever. But yeah, so they also have water sports available. You can go to these places. But Baga and Kalangut, the thing is, there is a lot of crowd on some days. So when there's a lot of crowd, then, you know, there is more like you know rush there but the other beaches are a little less crowded so the activities are probably more fun to do there but it's your choice yeah so that is water sports okay next let's talk about the waterfalls in goa so first of all we have dud sagar waterfall which is now open guys to public uh you can take the jeep and go to the waterfall uh, that is open. The second waterfall that is there is the Harvalem waterfall. If you want to go to Harvalem, Harvalem is an easier option. 
uh, and of course Dood Sagar of course is like the major attraction so yeah Dood Sagar and Harvalem are open you can go to these waterfalls they are very beautiful right now and yeah you can spend the whole day at Dood Sagar and of course the Harvalem is like a day trip you just go there for a little while enjoy it and then you can come back so yeah guys the waterfalls are available okay so before I tell you about South Goa let me just tell you guys a little bit of information on the crowd situation right now so the crowd situation Baga Kalangut has the most crowd third I would say is Kandolem Beach uh, you have other areas like Vagator and Anjuna which has decent amount of crowds. Arambol beach has a lot of people, mostly international tourists that are in Arambol. Mandrem is more peaceful, quiet. Morjim has more upmarket properties. So they have, they have like nice events happening on the beach there as well at these beachfront shack kind of properties. So it's a very nice place. Uh, Ashram beach is still very calm and peaceful, not a lot of people there. Uh, South Goa, Kolwa, Kolwa beach has a lot of people, uh, Palolam beach has a lot of people. Uh, yeah, so that is the crowd update. So now let me tell you guys about South Goa. Now let's talk about so South Goa, South Goa, Palolam beach, all the beach huts are open, fully operational. Okay, so if you want a party in Palolem, there are good places like uh, Kalabaya, there is uh, another place in Agonda which is uh, your uh, Leopard Valley which is the nightclub. There is a lot of places that are open uh, in that area which is very nice. Uh, Palolem is one of the most beautiful places in South Goa, of course it's the extreme end of South Go in Goa. Uh, there is also Benaulim Beach which is very nice and happening because they have places like Southern Deck which is really nice, uh, Kolwa beach, all the activities like water sports have opened up, you can go there, it's a lot of fun. If you want peaceful, quiet, beautiful beach, go to Uttarda beach, white sands, beautiful blue water, amazing place, Kabalosim, uh, Varka, these are places that are very happening, beautiful for families. It's more about nature, calm, beautiful, peaceful, Mobor beach, beautiful places. Kola beach, the kayaking is open, you can go there. If you want to see a beautiful beach with waterfalls, then you can go to Kakulam beach. But keep in mind guys, that walking down the trek is very tiring. Okay, so yeah, uh, something else to note is, sorry, I'm just checking the camera. Yeah, so something else to note is, when you're coming to Goa here, keep in mind guys, do not drink and ride or drive because they are very strict. Uh, uh, drinking and driving is not allowed so please do not drink and ride you can use apps like Goa Miles for taxis you can use taxis there are bus service that is available there are the hop on hop bus hop on and hop off buses also which are available right now which is if you want to go around the city for a tour try that out they have the website I'll put the link in the description hop on and hop off buses and yeah so if you want any other further information what of uh, what is happening here in goa please comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help you guys uh, with more information